Hi coaches, it's Shannon. I wanted to make a video today to talk about how to invite coaches to your team. Um, these are some things that I've used in my own business to help me be successful in adding new coaches to our team. So first of all, you want to look at yourself. Um, your business really starts with yourself in everything. Um, so when you're adding new coaches, you want to first look at yourself. Are you doing your workouts? Are you drinking Shakeology? Are you doing your personal development? So if you're struggling in any of those areas, it's really good to focus on them for a little bit before you start adding new coaches. Um, now you want to be that person, as Janelle Summer says. You want to be that person that people want to follow. And so if you're not, you know, doing your workouts, drinking Shakeology, doing your personal development, um, then, and then you want to bring on a new coach and you want them to do the same thing, they're not going to do it. And so, and they probably will cancel their membership or fall off. Um, so that's really important that you're being a product of the product, that you're doing those daily activities in your business so that you can be a leader to the new coaches that you're inviting to your team. The second thing you want to think about is are you doing your business consistently? If you're doing your business, you know, on for a week, off for a month, on, off, on, off, um, people won't want to join your team. Um, people want to join your team if you're a consistent, solid coach. If you're there showing up every day, doing your business, um, showing up on Facebook, talking about your workouts, talking about Shakeology, talking about eating healthy, then people are going to start following you and they will want to join your team. It takes time. It takes time for people to follow you, but the more you do things consistently, the more people will want to join your team. And so that's really important as well, is to be consistent in your business. So once you've gotten those things down, you know, once you've started to be a product of the product and you're doing those daily activities, then you want to look at are you inviting people? Are you inviting at least two new people a day to your challenge groups, to talk to someone on the phone, to, um, you know, there's lots of different things that you can invite people to. But that's really where it starts out with um, finding new coaches on your team. It starts with inviting. And so the best thing that I've seen um, to bring coaches onto our team is to invite them to a challenge group. So even if they've already tried the workouts, I probably wouldn't invite them to be a coach until they've gone through a challenge group and they kind of see how our, our business works, how our team works. So I'd invite them to a challenge group. I'd invite them to, you know, get involved, see how our challenges work and talk to them about their goals, talk to them about their interests, just learn more about them, um, use the form process that we've talked about, you know, learn about their family, their occupation, um, just learn more about them and see how you can build that relationship. So you're inviting them, you're learning more about them, you're, you're building that bond. So once they're in the challenge, then I'm supporting them. So I'm sending them a message or I'm calling them or I'm texting them to check in, you know, how are their workouts going? How's Shakeology doing uh, or going? How can I help them, you know, be successful? So I'm supporting them in the challenge. So then as the challenge goes along, if someone's really vocal, you know, if someone's a really big cheerleader, they talk about how much they love the workouts, they love Shakeology, um, then that person might be a good candidate to be a coach. And so from there, I would ask them, you know, have you considered being a Beachbody coach before? And, you know, that kind of opens up the conversation. Sometimes they say, yes, I've considered it, but, you know, I'm not interested right now. Or, you know, yes, I, I have considered it and I would love something. Tell I would love to do something like that. Tell me more. And so then that opens the door and then you can invite them into some of our coach training groups um, to get them involved. And, you know, I talk to them about how we work as a team. You're not doing this by yourself. It's, um, you know, fully a team effort, and so that's really good as well. Um, but usually when I go through that whole process, it's pretty much guaranteed that if a coach 
um, really wants to do it, that they would be a good coach. Some things that I would not do, um, I would not ever bring up the coaching opportunity to someone who's never tried a uh, Beachbody workout or Shakeology ever. Um, at first, when I first became a coach, I was just telling everyone about coaching and you know, I had a couple people just jump in because they liked health and fitness but they would never tried Beachbody and you know, they would just quit after a little while. So I think it's crucial that, you know, they know about beach body workouts, they've gone through our challenges, and that you as a coach are doing, you know, what you need to do so that they can follow you and, and feel confident in your leadership. So those are some, some tips for you on how to invite coaches into your team. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll be putting together another video on how to get your new coach started. Thanks.